guys, my name's Daryl and welcome to this edition of our off-road camper build. Now in this episode, you've seen us do the side plates for the riff rack system on the camper. Um, this episode we're going to install the crossbars, um, so there's a bit of drilling to those side plates and set up for our solar panel. Now with the solar panel when I was looking around, instead of looking for um, just any solar panel, I was after something that would fill the maximum area that we have allowable on the roof. And I've ended up with a foldable 250 watt monocrystalline version. The idea though behind this is that whilst it's foldable now, I'll bolt it together so um, it won't be foldable. Bit. It was fairly cost effective um, and I thought for my first foray into a solar system it's probably not a bad thing. Uh, I'm not putting it on the roof as such as most campers would. I'm concerned about future proofing. And future proofing is these things are getting better all the time. They're coming down in price, quality's going up, new technologies are coming out. And what is great today, in a couple of years time, will be old hat. Whilst this isn't a cutting edge design, it's a fairly cost effective version and it lets me dip my toe into the solar panel market. And instead of gluing it to the roof and then at a later date pulling it off and having to deal with the residue on the roof panels I don't have to do that and whilst you don't see the roof panels I still know there's residue up there and it would do my OCD in so we're not doing that but but with this with the camper you can just unbolt it hopefully and do new mounts and bolt up a new one at a later date and it's a it's a fairly easy process instead of having to peel it off the roof uh, the side panels also give the camper a little bit more shape and gives me the option of putting a surfboard on the roof. Uh, my Jeep's a soft top. If I was to buy another Jeep, it would be another soft top unless I bought a ute and it was a single cab, but they don't have those yet. <laughs> I'm hoping they do. Um, but yeah, yeah, I just don't have roof racks. I tend to go surfing a bit and this would be quite a good thing. So let's get into this. We've got to bolt the side panels back up to get all our placements, um, work out where we're going to drill the holes in them for the, the cross rails. We've got to bolt this together, take away the, the portable parts of it uh, to make it a little bit lighter and um, bolt her up. So let's make this happen. <laughs> As you can see with this panel up on the roof, it's now all bolted together, so it's one panel. It takes up most of the available roof area in this section. So you can understand why I was quite excited when I found out the size of it. 
because a lot of the single panels are wider than the, the top of the camper and a lot of them are only 150 watt whereas this is 250 watt. So the idea now is to cut some crossbars for this to sit on and that will sit up somewhat like this. So I've got to get the width between the two uprights, cut some aluminium down for that and then we'll start installing it. As you can see this is all now finished and I'm really happy with how it's turned out and it's turned out better than what it was when I was designing it in my head. <laughs> um, the bottom cross member is an aluminium cross member and with the solar panel sandwiched on top of it it's solid as a rock. The top cross members I've done in a gal steel just because if I put strap something down to that uh, it won't flex. The complete system is solid as a rock, it's just not going to go anywhere. And, and even if I put a surfboard or something on this side, I've still got a full solar panel available. So really chuffed with that. So now it's just pulling it all to pieces again and painting it ready for assembly. But um, for a complete bespoke system, I think it's turned out quite well. So that's another milestone over, really chuffed with how that's worked out and it's just disassembly now, paint and reassembly. So that's it for today guys, hope you enjoyed that and we'll see you next time, bye now.